So how would you like for your screen to look like this every single Saturday? All right, so if you always take an L's on the sneakers app, the first reason why is because you're just entering one account and you're fighting a losing battle. In this video, I'm telling you how to guarantee that you hit on the sneakers app. Now, I use stock numbers, demand, and probability to create an equation that almost guarantees that you cop. And ever since I realized it, I've hit on everything that's touched the sneakers app that I went for and wanted. Now, the first step is actually understanding the odds and understanding what's happening Happening when you're entering on your device because see when you enter on your device on the sneakers app you're ultimately entering like a virtual drawing now most of the time sneakers going to do what's called a dan drawing and i'm going to read the technical definition of what that is with the dan release nike will nike will give people 10 to 30 minutes to enter their accounts like a raffle nike will pick entries to win the shoe and go through the checkout right Nike usually does Dan for the most limited releases, right? So, boom, on a given Saturday, you enter on your device and then you wait for your L to come, right? But here's the biggest problem with that. When you enter in one account, depending on the hype, depending on the demand, a lot of the times, bro, especially if it's something hype, your chances are well below 15, well below 10% on hitting this shoe. And here's how I'm getting those numbers. It's simple. Once again, we're talking about the stock, we're talking about the demand. How many pairs of shoes versus how many people are going for the shoes. All right, now let's say there's 150K stock on the shoe, right? And let's say 1 million people are entering for them, there's 1 million entries. When you do the math on that, that leaves each account about a 15% chance to win the release. So simply put, when demand is high on a product, that means your chances of copying is extremely low. All right, so take example like the DJ Khaled 5s, right? Stock was actually way lower on those than there was on the actual like lost and founds, right? So technically speaking, the Khaled's were a lot more limited than the lost and founds were. But the demand on that shoe is not even comparable. Or you take the Black Taxi 12s that just recently released, right? There was a good amount of stock for those and there was a little amount of demand for those. So you could probably still right now while you're watching this video, go to the Nike app and get those shoes because demand wasn't there for them. So the only chance that you have to guarantee that you hit on the sneakers app is running multiple accounts. Because like simply put, let's go super limited, right? Let's talk super limited. Let's, let's say a shoe with only 50,000 total stock had about of um, 1 million people, 1 million entries going for it, right? That's comparable to maybe a SB dunk that comes out, right? On a lot of those drawings, bro, we, we each have about a 5% chance of copping on those. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm, but what I'm about to do is tell you exactly how many accounts you would need that would guarantee that you cop. All right, so your one account, that only gives you like a 5% chance, once again, that we went over, right? Now, let's say you enter two accounts, right? Which a lot of people do that. That would give you just about a 10%, a little under a 10% chance to cop. I'm sure you've ran on your girl's account before, ran on one of your kid's account or something and you missed on both. So on a release like that, two accounts isn't even really enough to give yourself a real chance. All right, now let's jump up to 10 accounts, right? 10 accounts would actually do you a little better. 10 accounts would give you a 40% chance of copping on sneakers. Now, there's still a greater chance that you won't cop versus that which you will. However, 40% is a lot better than five. Now let's, now, let's move up to 20 accounts. 20 accounts, now you're starting to give yourself a chance because now your chance moves up to about 60% that you hit. So now you have a more than likely chance of hitting on the sneakers app. And when you move up to 50 accounts, you give yourself a 90% chance of copping and hitting on the sneakers app. So when you get in the 60 account range, the 70 account range, the question no longer becomes if you're gonna hit on sneakers. Now it's now it becomes how many times are you gonna hit on sneakers? Which is a problem that I'm sure most people would love to be having. Now, I wanna be fair because I know the comment people are coming. I made an equation on my last sneakers video. I broke down this exact same equation that I'm giving you these numbers from. And because we're dealing with probability, it's impossible to say 100% that you're gonna hit. You can get up to as close as a 99% chance that you are gonna hit. And once again, also to the comment people, I'm standing on this equation simply because it's math, it's probability. All right, so now I wanna talk to you about Nike accounts, right? Because the main thing, the, the number one question in your mind right now is like, bro, how do I enter in multiple sneakers accounts? Well, number one, you have to have those accounts, which we're, we're gonna get to by the end of this video. But I wanna talk about how it works, right? So people do it two ways. You could have multiple devices, right? Some people, I know of people that go buy cheap Android phones, just to download sneakers on it so that they can 
so that they can have another device to run from, right? So yes, there's people who literally on a given drop, after, let's say they have 10 different devices, you would need 10 different accounts. You would go in and hit enter on all of those right now. Most people are gonna say, hey, that's a little strenuous, right? Including me. So what I do is I use multiple browsers, right? And so my screen looks a little bit like this come drop day. And it's actually a lot similar. It's a lot more, it's a lot similar to just entering in multiple phones. The difference is it's all on one screen for me. And I literally just go in and enter each account because as drops get tougher, as items get more limited, I want to kind of just improve in what I'm teaching you right now. I'm getting more Nike accounts. And so the more Nike accounts you have, the harder it's going to be to run it off of, you know, off of manually with phones to run it manually off of my browsers. I'm actually exploring, starting to use a bot that enter in that enters in my Nike accounts for me. Right? So those are the three different ways that you even enter in multiple accounts. Right now, let's talk about the most, the second most important thing when you're doing multiple Nike accounts, right? And that's your internet connection right now with your internet connection, right? Nike is driven to find all the bots. So with that said, 70 accounts, 50 accounts, all coming from your IP address from your one internet connection is not going to work because boom, you're going to get flagged. So what you need is something called proxies, which in short, in short terms, bro, are alternate IP addresses that you can assign to each of your browsers or maybe an internet browsing session period. You would need different proxies to assign to the, these accounts, right? Because once again, we don't want it to look like we're all coming from the same place. Now, what if you're running manual? What if you don't, what if you're running manual? What if you're not running a bot? You're not even doing the browsers. You just have two or three accounts and two or three devices that you want to enter. Well, if you have Wi-Fi at your house, do one on Wi-Fi, right? Then the second one, do it on your mobile data. Because what I know is that your IP on both of those isn't going to be the same. And so, you know, if you're, if you're having multiple devices, maybe, you know, run a hotspot on one of the devices and share that IP and that connection with another device. And then maybe do two on Wi-Fi, two on mobile data. And ultimately you just want to stagger that. Now, another thing I was asked was like, bro, do, don't I need different payment methods? Yes, you do need different pay payment methods. And honestly, you need as many payment methods as as you have accounts now i know what you're thinking you're like bro how am i supposed to get 50 debit cards well there are a lot of virtual credit card providers out there slash is one that i use i have a link below uh privacy is another one that i've used in the past and what they have is plans that, that allow you to create virtual debit cards now one of the most important things also because ultimately what you don't want to do is get flagged as a bot right so ultimately what you need to do is you need to do something called jig that address bro and what that is is just altering it so so, so that the computer can't tell oh man all these wins all these gotems all these cops are going to the same place this person must be botting this person must have an unfair advantage right so once again what you do to combat that is you jig your address so a quick example let's say you live on one two three main street on one account you spell out one two three main street on the second account, you do one, two, three, main, then the abbreviation of street, which is ST, right? And then maybe on another account, you do one, two, three, main street, and then you go to line two, room one, room two, room 100, whatever you wanna do. Now, from what I understand, that's a little difficult for apartments. And honestly, for me, getting deliveries in apartments had always kind of been janky. What I would ultimately advise you to do if you lived in apartments is just do the one, two, three jig, right? So you could do one, two, three main street, ABC one, two, three at the end of your address. And then that even alters it to where the computer system does not see that y'all the same person now now i'm gonna have a link below as well join my discord bro because we're going me and my discord we're going crazy on this topic man i've kind of discovered i've kind of came to this realization and just really went full throttle at it and once again i've been able to hit on everything so i have a video bro where i once again break this equation down step by step like in depth so you completely understand it man meet me over in that video man rico gang i love y'all let's get it